In this fitting workshop, change is happening. Philippa enrolled onto the non-mining apprenticeship program in 2018. She lives in Takwa, an age-old mining town. When she dropped out of school in 2017, she thought all was lost. This is the Gagarin Fashion School in the heart of Takwa. Nine beneficiaries of the non-mining apprenticeship program are being trained here. The fashion school was founded by James Kofi Degberin, a native of Takwa who is passionate about transferring the skills he acquired from his late father many years ago to the new generation of young people in the city. Nowadays, certification is very important. So this student, GoForce, is taking care of everything. They are tuition fee, the four-year course we've done undertaking, and then GoForce has paid all this. Every day, go first, go give them 10 cities as they are housekeeping money. So, there is a book there when you come, you sign for. So, at the end of the month, they've also asked them to open an account. And then, at the end of the, every month, they lodge the days of time that you've attended classes, they lodge amounts in their, in, their, in their account. More than 60 young people have enrolled on the program since it began in 2011. Learning skills in fashion, hairdressing, auto mechanics, electricals, spraying and welding. Any young person around here would want to work in the mine. But as you and I know, um, not everybody can work here because this is a business entity. You, the number of people looking for jobs, um, all of them cannot get the opportunity. So, we have we, we initiated this um, program to offer the opportunity for young people especially to get skills so that they become economically independent 47 apprentices are still under training some of those who have successfully graduated have set up their own businesses training others in their communities Sabina Mensa, who graduated out of the program at the beginning of 2019, has since set up her dressmaking shop here. Because we are now more modern machine, a modern man, some fine edge. To me, we are now a shop on my head. To me, I still think I can't a clan. My bob was scanning and the way I shop. The non-mining apprenticeship program is one of several programs through which Goldfields is improving the livelihoods of members of its host communities. For from a charity, a kaku. For one more takwadi, all that's where I go. By new sites here, I'm at school. We school 2012. Now, we're going to be in June 2013. We're going to be in June. Now, baby, I'm going to shop on Wyden, but go faithful. For mommy's spinning machine. Now, I'm going to be in the baby shop. It's the apprentice trip. When the few people who started the program graduated, set up, and they're actually in the community, in their communities, and some have a shop, some are also working from home, they have other apprentices. It is visible, the communities can see. So now you have lots more requests from parents to enroll their, um, their, their children.
for those who commenced in 2021-2022, I'm happy to say that um, most of them are on their own. And then some of them too are working in industry. Even some of them are working here on the mine, especially the welders and the... Yes, so it is positive. Mejumano, in the vision I woman used to say, we perceive Jumano be a case. Like, it drew as company form. Uh -huh. And now, we perceive that we see many a lot of boys are see me training or more. So, we meet my baby to say, me no more vision side. I want one boy. Now, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to I mean, we say, I'm born with pan. A man, uncle, I'm more respecting than being enough. May buy an omu to myself. I'm more respecting. Ultimately, the objective is to equip community members with useful and income generating skills to enable them to support themselves and their families. <laughs>